2020 is a year that asked an awful lot of us all. It asked more than many of us felt we had to give. We had to dig so very deep. And Dad, to leave the earth at the end of this unprecedented year, well, I understand. I thought it would be a vast emptiness in my life when my dad went on to his next adventure and left the earth. And I do feel an immense gap that only he could fill as my wonderful father and the father of all my brothers and sisters. I, but I know that there's a great expansion in my heart as well. There's a deeper peace and calmness, not without being hugely sad to not physically see him again, but also spiritually full to know that I will see my dad again because it's filled with eternal love. Death cannot kill love. On my drive up to Wausau in early December, when dad first went into hospice, I saw a billboard flashing over on the side and I just glanced at these words scrolled by and it said, love is eternal. That's all it said and I was past it. To me, it was a message preparing me, but also reassuring me, a message from heaven. I have no doubt Dad is there. I told him when I had to go back to the airport, as I looked into his eyes, that he would live forever in my heart and in the hearts of those he touched. All of you knew and loved him so much, and he loved you. I knew that I would not see him again, and he knew it too. People teach you so much about life when they are dying, and how Dad handled the dying process made me the most proud of him I have ever been. He was giving and reassuring, and he looked into your eyes with the wisdom of all that is and ever will be. I've never seen that look before. Mere words can't describe how beautiful humorous, kind, wonderful, and intelligent of a man he was. And to me, he was a very handsome guy. His sense of humor was legendary. And somewhere, I wrote down everything he ever said to me that was funny in the last few years. But some of the last words he said to me on the phone in November will tell you what you need to know about Roy Thorson Jr. He said, I love the world. And I love the people in the world. And most of all, I love the woman that just walked into the room. What a gift to have a man like this among us for 93 beautiful years. Mom, Dad loved you so much. Most people won't ever get a chance to experience that. They won't even get a hint of it. You were given almost 70 years. May we live our life and use his as an inspiration to live it as fully and wonderfully and richly as Roy Thorson did. Thank you, Dad.